just showing here DJI's Air 3 and how it can be quite stable maintaining its position even when it doesn't have any satellites in such doors it moves back to the exact same position even if you move it So this is what happens if you ha select the hover option from the menu. So if we go into the menu here, just check in the quick. I've turned off the, the brake thing just to keep it a bit more stable. Uh, we selected the hover there and uh, now I'm going to turn off the controller. and the drone will just continue to hover until you have forced landing when the battery runs low so the drone will just hover there with no problems so I'll turn on the controller again So now in the menu, if we go back to the menu, now we turn the controller on, uh, go to the safety section, go down to advance and then we select descend. So when you select this, you get a confirmation and the drone will, as soon as it loses connection with DRC, it will land it won't return to home if it was outdoors so you don't want to use that one unless you're standing quite close to the drone so turn the controller off and almost immediately the drone lands So this time in the safety section again we select the uh, return to home and see what happens when we turn the controller off again. So it's not doesn't descend immediately, it takes about 11 to 12 seconds before the drone actually lands. Uh, there we go. And the drone lands. So there's a bit more duration of time. So I'm just selecting some options just before f uh, doing this particular test. So around 20% you usually get the automatic return to home. When you get to about 15% the drone will start sending beep message on your controller. And then at about 10% you get the forced landing where you can still push the stick upwards to keep the drone from descending but it will try to descend and then obviously it will tr uh, eventually uh, run out of battery but 
you can more or less stay until the battery goes to zero if you have to force landing by just keeping the stick forced upwards. If you accidentally turn the controller screen off, you can just tap it once to turn it on again or turn it off. But to turn off the actual controller, you have to double click it and then hold it. So there's another way to get the drone to take off. Um, rather than using the auto takeoff function, you use the sticks. So you bring the sticks both to the centre downwards and then lift off with your fingers. So the drone propellers will keep on spinning until you the left stick upwards. So it's a different method rather than using the auto takeoff you can just use the sticks instead to lift off the drone by clicking both sticks down and inwards. So here we got a Mini 3 Pro, we're going to take it off. Go into the menu, just check some of them. In this case I'll leave on brake mode. And then we go to advanced settings, check. We'll leave it on return to home. So again with the Mini 3 Pro, if we push the drone it goes right back to the same position again. The remote off, after a couple of seconds this drone will automatically descend, this is when it detects no satellites otherwise it will return to home if you had the return to home selected. I haven't flown this drone in quite a while. There's a little calibration symbol there, meaning that I have to calibrate it so it can uh, orientate its position. So that's why I have to spin it. You don't usually have to do this with DJI drones, although sometimes you do, but they're usually uh, able to uh, calibrate themselves so you don't necessarily have to do these kind of things with the DJI drones so I'm just switching off the satellites a switch this allows you to take off indoors or when you've not got any satellites just 
put it down. So I couldn't uh, keep it in the shop. The only problem of being low down is that it's these, there's a bit of a downdraft which causes the drone to move much more than it would. Uh, so after a few seconds it starts to move a bit with the currents of air and it doesn't because it doesn't have as the kind of positioning sensors that the DJI drones have it tends to drift quite a lot in this case it starts to drift more and more so it starts to become a bit of a concern that it might actually drift into the wall even though I'm trying to keep it in the same position starting to move quite a bit because of the currents of air so I'd probably recommend not hovering in uh, very small spaces with the Holy Stone drones When I descended and the drone touched the ground I let go of the stick and that caused the drone to go back up again so that's why it jumps around a bit I must have crushed into the wall there <laughs> So I just want to show what happens if it loses signal with the controller So we connected with the drone so now we're just going to take off Hover's a little bit more stably up there, but because there's a little bit less current, so it's but uh, should be able to hold its position long enough to do this particular test. So I turn the controller off. After a few seconds, the drone will land. Well, if that happened, it should return to home. If we were outside and you had satellites. But that uh, ends our demonstration of flying the drones inside a building.